we are given that f of x plus y is equal to fx times fy for all values of x and y. Let's call this equation 1. Now put x is equal to y is equal to 0. Equation 1 becomes f of 0 is equal to f of 0 times f of 0. Moving all terms to the left hand side and taking f of 0 common, we get f of 0 times in brackets 1 minus f of 0 is equal to 0. This implies that either f of 0 is equal to 0 or f of 0 is equal to 1. Now we are given that f dash 0 is equal to 3. f dash 0 can be written as the limit of f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 upon h where h tends to 0. Now from result 1 f of 0 plus h is equal to f of 0 times f of h and therefore this limit is equal to limit h tending to 0 f of 0 times in brackets f of h minus 1 divided by h. Now in the case when f of 0 is equal to 0, this limit is equal to 0. And in the case when f of 0 is equal to 1, this limit becomes equal to f of h minus 1 upon h. Now in the first case, f dash 0 is equal to 0 is a contradiction because we are given that f dash 0 is equal to 3. Therefore that outcome is ruled out. It therefore follows that f dash 0 which is equal to 3 is equal to f of h minus 1 upon h. Let's call this result 2. Now f dash 5 is equal to the limit of f of 5 plus h minus f of 5 upon h as h tends to 0 and this is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 of f of 5 plus h which using result 1 can be written as f of 5 times f of h minus f of 5 divided by h. This is equal to the limit as h tends to 0 f of 5 times in brackets f of h minus 1 upon h which is equal to f of 5 times the limit h tending to 0 f of h minus 1 upon h. Now from result 2 f of h minus 1 upon h as h tends to 0 is equal to 3 and f of 5 is given to be equal to 2. Therefore, f dash 5 is equal to 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. And therefore, f dash 5 is equal to 6, which is the required answer.